It couldn't be a situation where a man say, yo, alkaline do good. Yeah, man, them next youth, we want them do good too. So you are going black people. We want them on the album do good too. You know, we could listen to it and hear what I go on with. And we, you know, we have fans who can critique it. Let the fans them do that. But no. You turn media and start critique man album. So we watch the youth them. Basically, I compete against each other without them even knowing where you do, where you try. You see, what, you see, one of your youth them perform on a show, and the next youth them on the show, your run come. Nobody has never depend on the show. Pinning one of the artists, artists, na music against another youth again. So that means that when Alkaline to see all the artists they know in the streets, now, I see that youth they know the road, then. I see that youth they on the grass. How can I never feel like say, yo, the man is good all against him? Because of course the man rate you and you. So when the man come now and look and see him at the post, the man have to acknowledge you because the man rate you. And you do it because you know say the youth rate you. Because you know say the youth have to acknowledge you. You do it. And if he not acknowledge you, you vex with him, you cut him off, you start burning him out. So right this to know we have two brothers now. Well maybe them never have nothing, you know. A two good artists, them, you know. With two different styles, you know. And the two of them could have eat them food and the two of them could have gone and do them thing and the two of them could have gone see eye to eye as brothers for you know. See, at the end of the day, we are brothers, you know. We are black brothers, you know. At the end of the day, we are Jamaicans, we are black brothers, we are Africans, we are whatever. Them never have to even be friends, but as musicians, them could have, they have a ratings for each other, you know. But what you do? You put a wedge between that. You put a wedge between that, general. See? Alright, you create a wedge. You've been doing that for years. Creating division among the youth them. Boom now. Crunch time I come now. Your album load up. The biggest and the baddest and the bravest and everything and the wickedest and the toughest and the roughest album now is load up now. You look and see, say, nowadays record now sell like that. You look and see, say, some of the artists, them numbers, no look good. You get stage fright now. Start walk back the big bad talk now. And you put out a statement. A pathetic statement. Because now, crunch time. And you're such a narcissist. But you're afraid man you put out your album and you know do the numbers them and the people them. Call it out. So what you do? You gone in a damage control mode. And you put out a statement here. Yeah. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe about the sound, state and condition of dancehall today which most of us can agree that it's confusing at times. But the change is inevitable, however, so I decided to gather a bunch of artists as producers, artists or artists, producers, musicians and writers to try and remind today's fans what authentic hardcore international dancehall sounds like. Because the radio mostly plays rap and trap, also the cable people getting it mixed up. 18 years ago, I dropped my last album, then launch Alliance to run dancehall. I never ever needed the hype. This album isn't to compete with the younger folks or anybody. It's more of a template to guide who doesn't understand fully about the roots of the dancehall culture. I hope you all appreciate it when it comes because most people today only complain and comment about music, but they don't buy it. Let me go back to your, your post earlier on this year. Since everybody and them granny making, <laughs> I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh. This is a serious thing. Right Post-Alkaline album. 
the man album not even reach in the store good. The man album not even pull out of the plastic yet. This is your statement. <laughs> but I wonder if the man do them thing here people for just clout. Or the man just do them thing here for just. Rile up black people for turn against each other. The man put out a statement here now. Hear the man. Since everybody and them granny making album this year all of a sudden, let me make this clear. All who and who dropping them little dumpling thing do it fast and move because when giant a feed up a pudding pan cursing thing business in other words, the biggest, baddest and best album. No, crunch time. Time now for your step in the ring. Time now for you present your presentation. Time now for make your presentation. Ya set the table. Ya set the table just in case. You don't know, get the numbers them. Here you set the table. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe about the sound, state and condition of dancehall today which most of us can agree that it's confusing at times. But the change is inevitable however so I decided to gather a bunch of artists, producers, musicians and writers to try and remind today's fans what authentic hardcore international dancehall sounds like. Because the radio mostly plays rap and trap, also the cable people getting it mixed up. 18 years. Uh, no, come on, is there a full stop? So just excuse me. Getting mixed up. 18 years ago, I dropped my last album, then launched Alliance to Run Dancehall. I never, ever needed the hype. This album isn't to compete with the younger folks. You put out a statement when Alkaline dropped him album, you know? So everybody for dropping them dumpling album, you know? So who know ya said that album ya no fi compete? Because me no fool fool me no run gang and make one album say me want compete with your album. Me so overly ambitious me run gang make one album and say yo. Me want my album compete with me even if, if, if my album no get the numbers them where your album get. Me want at least compete with you because me a drop my dumpling album right after you drop your album. Me never plan for him put on album you know. Me just say yo me want compete with a big bad 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 album ya because me a youth. Me know say competition brings forth the best out of people. So when you put out a statement that everybody for drop them dumping album and all of them things eh? So why you come now about say you know you know drop your album for compete with nobody? Me not get it, me not, me, me not get it general. But you know what? You've been doing it for years and people laugh up with you. People support you. Artists we claim say them are dealing with love. Claim said them a deal with righteousness. Claim said them a deal with peace and unity. Them support you. Them stand with you. Them stand with you. Them support you. And them cheer you on. Them cheer you on and encourage you over the years to do them thing. Oh, you have come now when your album a your time now to make a presentation. You are going to come, come tell we now. When we are anticipate this big bad album, we are going to rub out Alkaline album. We are going to rub out everybody else's album. Specifically Alkaline. Because of Alkaline you want to rub out. So we are look for you come now with this thing. I come rub out Alkaline now. You, know. you come and look sympathy from the people. Them. You come and try to play on the people's them emotion now. I talk about say. You hear complaints. From people across the globe about the sound of dancehall. You claim say. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe. About the sound state and condition of dancehall today, which most of us can agree that it isn't, it that it's confusing at time. You know, hear nothing from nobody across the globe about the state of dancehall, you. Yeah, me tell you why. You spend you in a year prime. You spend half of the time I try to destroy the artists and the people know across the globe. 
you know concerned with dance all across the globe. This a copy of Capote, you know. A copy of Capote. And the whole world I go see through you. And I hope see your album do well, you know. Me hope say your album do well. Me hope say because one thing we can't take away from you is a good DJ. Can't take away that from you. And if, you, if somebody write you a good song like Dave Kelly or one of the man them write you a good song, we can't write you a fancy you know, go forward and do a good song and, and bust the place again or whatever. Maybe you have a big tune for your album. Maybe your album bad. But you know what this does for people when you support evil? This just shows we say you're just an empty vessel and you're weak. I just, this is you know. It just shows we say you're just an empty vessel and you're weak. And I tell you, say, you know. I tell you, say, you know. Evil longer prevails when good people stay silent, you know. And that's how we always call you out. That's how we always call you out. Because the things that we do are warranted. The things that we do, them not even have no. Yeah, we don't have no reason for do them. But anytime you want to rile up your little followers, them and your little loyalists, them way. Be if same like you in a them personal life, so them have to find somebody where you and them fit the same. You and them vibrate on the same frequency, the same energy. Them find your energy for channel for them energy. I use like a conduit. You see what I say? The things them way do do even make sense. So you come now at the last minute I come tell we say. I heard a lot of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe about the sound state and condition of dancehall today, which most of us can agree. That's it. Confusing at times. But the change is inevitable, however, so I decided to gather a bunch of artists, producers, musicians and writers to try and remind today. Remind today's fans what authentic hardcore international dancehall sounds like. You never concern about this um, um, when you did a, try to tear down half of the artists them with the authentic. Half of the artists them in the industry and 90% of the artists them. You never care about dance, the state of dance all them time then. If you had it your way, enough of we wouldn't have no career, you know. These music lovers where you search, we're suddenly concerned about these music lovers across the globe. Who you think them listen, listen to? The same you, them, the same music lovers them where you say you hear a complaint, you know. We love authentic dance hall. Who you think them listen to? The same you, them where you try to tear them, boy, and who you could have tear them. Some of who you couldn't manage with. Because with talent, rise above. Why you, to, why you did a try. Some of we falter by the wayside because we never have the work ethics to rise against the evil where you come with. Some of we survive. But we have the platforms them now for call you out. And when we call you out your fans them, your loyalists them and your, your little thousand, thousand likes, thousand views, YouTubers them. Them jump on the artists them are the people them we call you out. I want to burn out the people them. But when you have text it upon the youth them, them laugh and say, yo, 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 the general not easy, you know. <laughs> the general not easy, you know. But when a man call you out, when now you make a little, a little speech now, I try to play upon the people's them emotion, but you hear people are complaining about, about, about genuine music. Nobody not complain about no genuine music where you concerned about. Me not say people not complain. But as far as you concerning about, being concerned about the state of dance hall, you are not concerned about the state of dance hall. If you're concerned about the state of dance hall, dance hall would have been way better than it is today. If you're concerned about building dance hall, enough youth where you fight out of the industry would have gone good. Enough youth. Enough of the youth where you fight out, people not even hear about them. Them not even get a chance to bust, but true people not hear the story of them. But you are reaching now. You get exposed. 
they get exposed. And you can't address. Who you really are. So you're afraid to put out the album because you think that people may think that he's a pedo boy. So you have to put up, you, have, you, have test the, you, have, you have push out your head, lick, 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 test the water. No man, come out big, bad, and bold, man. When the man drop him album, what do you know? Come out big, bad, and bold, man. You still have a liar system out there. Nobody afraid, man. Push it out, man. They might go gabble it up. They might go buy it. The people them will loyal to you to the point where they may not kill somebody for you. You know if you, you know if you hide for it. As a matter of fact, don't even bother worry about where come out about you. Pedo boy. You see? Because society don't accept that is the norm already. So nobody afraid, man. Come out big, bad, and bold, see me. People in there are weird, but the big, bad, baddest, cursing thing, gasoline, jump on a gas album we are cook up. Nobody come right as I know, come, come walk at the line, man. Nobody come, come on, man. Yeah, 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 run good, 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 and just a pull up, so we have most of contract. No, man. Come up to the line, man. <laughs> run, run up to the line, man. Run up to your line. And when you do your interview them, just tell the people and say you don't want to talk nothing about the little things that, the little thing will come out where they well the cold past that kinda make the dead down. Tell them say you don't want to talk about that, cause you want to focus on the album. When I at a matter of fact, the journalists them in Jamaica and the journalists them in the base market, them not gonna ask you nothing about it. Nobody afraid, man. No weight not depend on your shoulder, man. You don't have to worry about nothing, man. They don't accept it as the norm. As the norm in our society. Me just put it out to make you know so you can't style no more youth boy again. Because now we have something for you. So just in case you have things so you can't style our next youth. Or our next man we have to drop an album where you don't like. We have something to lick you with. Yeah. Get out of your freaky mind. Yeah, man. You know me attack. <laughs> yeah. Nobody bullet for the lick. Mm, can you know me attack?